Using your arms during starts is very important. There's actually three different ways you can throw your arms during a start. The first way I call the old school start doesn't do much for power generation, whereas the third style, a butterfly start, is the most powerful. Let's discuss each of them. The old school start. This starting style is the least powerful in terms of power generation created from the arms. To complete this style of start, a swimmer winds their arms backwards before shooting them forwards into a streamline. This backwards to forwards motion doesn't generate any momentum for the swimmer off the blocks. The slingshot start. This starting style does generate some power. I would consider it a medium level of power output. To perform this start, a swimmer will take their elbows up above their head before bringing their arms forward into a streamline. Because the direction of the arms is constantly moving within a circle, you create more power here than in the old school start. The butterfly start. Arguably the hardest start to perform as the arms have to travel the longest distance, but this start is the most powerful start of all. A swimmer will take their arms through a full butterfly stroke, finishing in a streamline before the hands hit the water. Once again, it's the hardest start to do because it requires the longest distance traveled by your hands, so you've got to be quick. This is part of the reason why this start isn't universally used by all swimmers, as not everyone can do it. I would recommend the slingshot starting style for most swimmers, but depending on where you are in the spectrum, make sure you understand the pros and cons of your start style so you know whether your start is actually helping or hindering your swim speed. Happy training!